Let's try and simplify this real quick. So let's imagine a rectangle with a node in the middle and a line running down, elevated on both sides, um, running from the center. This is called the primitive streak, and it's very, very important in the development of the, um, the embryo. Now, I said it's a rectangle, but it's not actually a rectangle. Now, let's imagine this. This looks like a rectangle, right? But if you're looking at it in three dimension, it's actually like, um, so you have, looking at it this way, it's a rectangle, but when we want to look at it this way, or this way, we have something like this. All right? Okay. With this node here running down, it's a little bit elevated. You see, initially, this is what we call the bilayer. Okay, and it is initially made up of two different cell lines. Okay, two different cell lines. So this is called the epiblast. And this is called the hypoblast. Okay, and you still have this trick in the center. Okay, now what happens is that usually from this trick, we're going to have a new layer of cells sort of coming down this way. Okay, so the new layer of cells will come down this way such that they are going to replace this. This layer of cells here such that you now have something like this so just trying to make it as quick as possible so you now have this new layer of cells which we now call the endoderm okay and as if that is not enough you still have some other new cells coming in from here to form a third layer in between such that what you now have is something like this so you have this layer on top you have this new layer in the middle right and you have the third layer. So this changes from a bilayer to a tri germinal layer. Literally meaning three gem layers. Alright, so this becomes the ecto, this becomes the mesoderm, and this becomes the endoderm. Now this is made up of mesenchymal tissue. This this um, this tissue um, freely moves about. They are not attached together, right? So it makes up the mesenchymal tissue. Remember, you still have the primitive streak running down this way. Now, if we cast our mind back to this primitive streak, it is said that there are some cells just in front of this primitive streak that's in front here, which will go through the primitive streak, go down into this middle layer and migrate upwards. Yes, and so looking at it from front here, they go into the primitive streak and they migrate upwards. Okay? But remember, they are migrating in this middle layer. Okay? So let's imagine this is the box with the primitive streak running down this way. Some cells, some cells that are here will go inside here and migrate upwards such that 
when we open this layer okay you know what let us take a cut this way so what you now have is this you have this layer on top with the primitive streak this way you have the middle them and you have um the last layer okay so you have some cells which will come here migrate here and migrate upwards such that if we're not looking at it from this angle this is what you're going to have you're going to have this okay you're going to have something like this and then you're going to have this okay now the cell the cells that will migrate here will form what we call the notochord which is this dark layer here the importance of this notochord is that this notochord um, stimulates some changes the notochord is going to stimulate this underlying this overlying head to them to differentiate into what we call the neural crest or neural crest neural plate we'll still go more into that it's also going to stimulate this mesoderma layer to differentiate into some specialized structures the immediate ones closer to it will become the somites okay this ones become the intermediate mesoderm and this becomes the lateral plate mesoderm okay now if we zoom into this lateral plate mesoderm this is what it actually looks like okay you have a cavity here you have a part that faces up and a part that faces down this part that faces up is the somatic lateral plate mesoderm And this part is this planking. Now there are some cells which we would call the primary heart field. So this somatic lateral plate mesoderm. This is this planking lateral plate mesoderm. There are some. There's an area which we call the primary heart field. The area that will eventually develop into the heart. And this area is located in this planknic lateral plate mesoderm if we zoom again into this you have some myoblasts let's zoom here so myoblasts to form along with some blood cells such that eventually they will develop into a tube okay So you have a tube so coming back here eventually you're going to have so still in the this planknic area this lateral plane mesoderm okay you're going to have um a tube with some specialized cells around okay i hope you are fine this is the planknic lateral plate um mess with them i hope we've um we're following 